What's up, everybody? This is Phil from MDC, Montreal Diecast Cafe. And tonight, we're going to do a different turn. Uh, my local uh, Passion Diecast, everybody, uh, has loaded up on some Auto World and Johnny Lightning. So, of course, I decided to go through and pick out what I wanted. And I managed to pick up some pretty cool things. Um, normally... I don't take tons of Auto World or tons of Johnny Lightning, but when they come up with some really cool castings, I definitely dive right in and pick them up. Uh, so let, let's check out what I did pick up. Starting with, I got this Hearst Edition Chevy Camaro 2010, and this this guy looks sweet. I mean, uh, really, really pretty cool looking casting. I mean, the... the Camaro's been done, obviously, a few times uh, with Auto World, but this Hearst edition uh, looks pretty awesome. So I'm pretty stoked about getting my hands on that one. Got this really awesome 1983 Chevy Silverado Stepside. This one looks really cool. Mags look awesome, and I just love this color. I mean, the color uh, struck me as uh, really amazing. It's a dark tangerine metallic. I mean, that's pretty special. And this is limited edition. It doesn't say to what uh, to what it's limited to. But anyway, we've got that to check out. Brand new casting from Auto World. We've got the 1991 Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. This one was released in two colors. Uh, white and this Jamaican Blue Poly. I did not pick up the white one. I thought this Jamaican Blue Poly was pretty awesome looking. So I went with this color. Next on the list, another brand new casting, and it is the 1986 Dodge Conquest TSI. This one I did grab in white. Thought it was pretty awesome. Uh, brand new casting, so I figured I don't have this casting in my collection, so I figured it'd be pretty awesome to add. Next on the list, we got this 1970s Chevrolet Impala Custom Coupe, and I love the Chevrolet Impala. I think this casting is amazing. And this one is in a black cherry poly. Always loved the black cherry colors. I mean, it's just an amazing color. And uh, this looks like it's going to be spectacular once we get it open. So we've got that. Next, we do have a brand new casting again. And it is the 1984 Dodge Caravan. Now, we were supposed to get the beige version at Passion Diecast and this Garnet Pearl Coat. Well, we only got this one. We didn't get the, the beige uh, casting in. But, crazy enough, I did get the Ultra Red for the beige casting, which is pretty strange. They put the wrong Ultra Red in the cases uh with this guy so i got the ultra red for the beige crystal coat which is pretty pretty rare but anyway that's how that happened <clears throat> also from auto world i picked up this rat fink trailer i mean this thing is all rusted out and i thought look just has to be perfect for the part for the um for the, um, what do you call it? The uh, scrapyard that I'm trying to build, okay? This is a perfect trailer to have sitting in the scrapyard. Anyways, we're going to open that up and check it out. Then we've got some Johnny Lightning. And speaking about scrapyards, this is one car that I'm going to add to the scrapyard. And I think it's a pretty cool looking car. This is the 1976 Plymouth Velare Roadrunner in uh, project in progress livery and this is pretty cool looking love these cars that johnny lightning does they do an amazing job with these and these are perfect cars for the scrapyard now i can see already i'm gonna have problems with the uh the wheels but as i said this is a car that's going to be sitting in my scrapyard so i'm not too worried about that then i picked up this two pack from johnny lightning and i really I was going to say I picked it up for this duster, this Demon GSS, okay? I mean, I don't have a version of this uh, casting from Johnny Lightning, and I figure this is gorgeous. 
But this guy here, this 64 Dodge 330, looks amazing as well. I mean, just pure drag racing. And I just love the look of it. And this is the Mr. Norm edition. Dino Tuned. No idea what that is, guys, but the information is all right here. Uh, Mr. Norm Krause was the co-owner co of Grand Spalding Dodge, the largest Dodge dealership in the world from 1963 through 77. And it doesn't say where. Oh, yeah, it was Chicago, Illinois, guys. Okay. That's where these are. So this, is, I guess, is a pretty special edition, too. There is a version A and a version B, but I thought this version was much, uh, much cooler. So I grabbed that one. And that's that. So that's what we're going to look at tonight, guys. We've got some Auto World, a bit of Johnny Lightning, and we're going to set up that trusty turntable, and we're going to get up close and personal with this stuff. All right? Next video, guys, is going to be Hot Wheels. I've got Team Transport to crack open. Uh, that'll be the next one up. All right? So let's get to it. Okay, so first up, guys, we're going to start off with Auto World, and we're going to shoot through these, okay? So this one here is the 1970 Chevrolet Impala <clears throat> Custom Coupe in Black Cherry Poly. Uh, information on the back. And like I said, these are, they say limited editions, but they don't say what they're limited to. But that doesn't really matter anyways, because we're just going to crack these guys open and take a look at the models. I'm not going to pretend to know, uh, pretend to say I know uh, everything about Auto World because really I don't. I just love the models and I love showing them when I pick them up. And here it is. This, got to show you guys this color. Look at that color. That not spectacular. I mean, look how beautiful the matte roof is done. Beautiful, beautiful job. Black interior. Metal base, of course, rubber wheels, and we do have opening features. I'm sure the hood opens here. Let me just get it. There we go. Open up the hood, show you guys the engine if it's possible. Not really, but you can see this detail. Black and orange. And that is pretty sweet. There's the model. That color is something else. Love the pinstripe. I mean, that is just amazing. Front detail. Rear detail. Just gorgeous. Rim choice is amazing. Very, very sexy Impala. Very sexy indeed. Okay, next on the list is... We're going to get into this new casting here. We're going to check out this uh, beautiful 1986 Dodge Conquest TSI. Anybody want back information? Right here. Otherwise, let's get it open. And here she is, in beautiful white, red interior, and this looks like it has opening hood too. Let's see how easy it is to open. Ah, it opens pretty easily to reveal engine detail. That's pretty cool. Very, very cool. There's the model. We have side mirrors, which is a definite bonus. Rim choice is very period correct. Quite a cool little casting. Rear deco, front deco. Not bad at all. Now it looks like it got a little bit sloppy with the paint on this one. You can see here. 
Got a little bit sloppy with the paint, the black, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's really well done. There's the undercarriage. Wheels look well, well positioned. I and mean, that's a good looking little car. Okay, the next one is also a brand new casting. And it is the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 1991 in this Jamaican Blue Poly, guys. Another limited edition. Love this color. Honestly, this color looks pretty amazing. As you can see, look at that. Really beautiful, beautiful metallic blue. And a very unique blue. We've got black and white interior. The black the seats are black and white, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we get that hood open. Yeah, this one opens pretty easily as well to reveal the engine detail. Not bad. Very nice. Undercarriage. And there she is. Very spectacular color. I mean, Auto World this round has put some pretty cool colors out. Side mirrors, I mean, that's just beautiful. Very, very superbly done, this car. Period correct mags again. And the hood caps, you see, Auto World does a good job with the hood caps. They're not large, they're just perfect. That's a beauty. Definite bonus. Okay, next we have the step side. This is the 1983 Chevy Silverado step side. And I was saying before, this color I think is going to be very special as well. Anybody wants to see the back again, here it is. There's a barcode. And this color is called Dark tangerine metallic <clears throat> now i wouldn't have bought another silverado honestly it wasn't in my plans but when i saw that this one had the mags and had this pretty special color on it i figured oh yeah this is a definite must and i don't have a lot of step sides in my collection which is pretty cool but look at this beautiful beautiful burnt orange i mean that is seriously nice Front detail is amazing. This one we do have the opening back and it opens perfectly and closes perfectly. Hood. Does the hood open? Yes, the hood opens. Engine is not detailed. The engine is just black. But, this is one good-looking truck. And it's almost pretty straight. I know Auto World has uh, trouble with them being completely straight sometimes, but this one is pretty bang on. That is gorgeous. The color is much nicer on the turntable than it is in the package. Really. That is something else. And the mags really make the truck look cool. Next one on the list is the... 2010 Chevy Camaro 
Hearst edition. And this one is done in just black. That's it. Just black. There's the back. And it is not a new casting. It's an old casting. But, like I said, this color combination with the Hearst logo just meant it had to come home with me. I mean, I think this is really cool, honestly. The mags, first of all, I think are awesome. Great mag choice. Love the Hearst logo on the side. And this silver trim on the uh, upper body is really, really well done. Undercarriage. Now, the wheels do look a little wonky on this one. Probably have to be fixed, placed well. Because they are a little bit off, that's for sure. You can see that they're a little lemon-like. But, let's check out the engine. See if, uh, you want to open? You want to open? Come on, you want to open? Uh-huh. Doesn't look like it wants to open that well. That's not a good thing. I was kind of hoping that this is a Hearst edition. That the engine was done something special. But this one, the engine doesn't want to even open. Okay, got to put that on like that, let it spin around. And it is a pretty cool looking Camaro, honestly. That color combination is really awesome. But you can definitely see that the wheels are a little wonky, especially on this side here. They're a little bit off. Now, I don't know if it... I think they just have to be played with. Yeah, they just have to be played with and put on properly. What really, really bothers me is that hood, actually. You know, that kind of really bothers me, to be honest with you. Hold on, guys. Let me just really see if I can get this thing open. Nah, it doesn't want to open at all. Okay, maybe in pictures on my Instagram I'll get it open. But there it is. Still pretty cool. Still a pretty cool looking casting. It looks like we got a bit of... Yeah, we do. We have a little bit of... Wow, look at that. A little bit of extra glue here and here. So it looks like their quality control on this one was just a little bit off. But I'm going to have to clean it up. Still a cool looking casting, but I'm going to have to clean it up. Okay. Last new casting from Auto World, guys, and we do have the 1984 Dodge Caravan in Garnet Pearl Coat. Now, this one is extremely period correct. I mean, this car, no doubt about it. This caravan definitely came out in this color, and I, we used to see tons of them in this color. So... Funny to see a diecast company do <laughs> this little caravan, actually, but uh, there it is. Roof rack and all. That is pretty cool. Red interior like it used to have when they came out. This one, can we get the hood open? Let's see if we get the hood open on this one. Yeah, hood opens on this one. Release, there's the engine detail. Well, what, four-cylinder they used to have in these things? This one has side mirrors, which is really cool. Undercarriage. I mean, this van just looks exactly like it looked. Perfect execution, Auto World. Perfect execution with this. The wood paneling. That is just crazy. Now, we're going to open the Ultra Red, but as I said, the Ultra Red is for the beige version, which we didn't get, so the color is going to look almost like this one, but you'll see on the Ultra Red, there are differences. First of all, the Ultra Red, we get a white base, white wheels, and chrome interior. Chrome interior. Wow. 
Is that uh, why? Why would they put a chrome interior? That's kind of weird. Let's see the engine. Engine is the same. But why would they put a chrome interior in the ultra red? But anyway, there you go. This is the ultra red color. Not the same at all. Two colors are different. You can't really see it. The right one here is the ultra red, obviously, with the wheels. And there she is. Very cool. Really not a huge fan of the chrome interior. But anyway, I mean, Auto World, uh, Hot Wheels I expect it from because the chrome would be somewhere else uh, on the bumpers or the base or something. But Auto World, that's a separate interior. And I can't understand why they would use chrome. Because they didn't put chrome anywhere else. It's not part of the bumpers. It's not part of the the body. I mean, the, the base. Kind of weird that they would use the chrome interior. But anyway, that's what they did. Okay, let's check out some Johnny Lightning, and then we're going to crack open that Rat Fink, guys. First off, we do have this Roadrunner 76 Plymouth Volari Roadrunner in patina, rusted out. Love this. It's an e, uh, E5 bright red and primer. Very, very cool. Love when they do this. This is limited edition, one of 12,018. We get a card as well. Let's see what that card is all about. We do have this card with it. Gives us, I guess, information on the back here. It is from the Street Freaks series. And here we are. I mean, this is pretty cool. This is pretty awesome looking. Love when they do this. I mean, Johnny Lightning does a great job on rusted out and patina cars. I mean, that is pretty cool. Metal base, rubber tires, and opening hood, I believe. Yep, we do have opening hood. There you are. That is pretty cool looking. These are the perfect cars to add to the scrapyard. If you're doing a scrapyard, these are just beautiful. And I do love this model. Okay, last before we hit the rack fink is this double pack 1964 Dodge 330 and 1971 Dodge Demon GSS both of these cars I thought are awesome looking and as I said I'm not a huge collector of Johnny Lightning but when they put out stuff like this I mean they just it just looks amazing and I think they're starting to scale their cars a lot better as well Now, I'm not one to complain about scale. I usually don't. I'll be honest with you. Scales don't usually bother me. But the old Johnny Lightnings, their scales used to bother me because they were just scaled too small. I don't like when something is scaled way too small. This is it. Here it is. I mean, this thing is beautiful. I do love these original drag cars. I mean, I'm just a huge fan uh, vintage racing drag cars. Very, very big fan of them. Okay. And you see Auto World and Johnny Lightning, they suffer the same problem with their wheels. They don't quite fit on perfectly. You have to play with them. But as you can see, they're really well done. You've got treaded tires in the front and you've got slicks in the back. And 
It's just beautiful. Beautiful paint on here. Grand Spalding Dodge. And we do have opening hood as well. I believe. Yep. And we reveal the engine. Just sweet. Very, very sweet. That is a beautiful looking drag car. Now, if that one isn't just beautiful, in your opinion, maybe this one will strike a chord. Because this is a car we don't get to see very, very often. We see a lot of new Dodge Demons, uh, a lot of 2018, 2020s, uh, but you don't get to see a 71 Dodge Demon done very often. And... It is amazing to see it come out. I mean, this is just beautiful. In its original purple color, we have side mirrors, matte, flat matte roof. You've got the twin cowl induction hood. I mean, this thing is just beautiful. We have engine detail, of course. Can we open it? Not very far. But we do have Mopar Orange engine. I mean, that's just beautiful. Honestly, this car is gorgeous. Love adding the 71 to the collection. Look at that rear, done perfectly. Awesome looking car. Okay, last but not least is the Rat Fink. In this rusted out, and I mean rusted out, this thing is rusted out beautifully. Look at that. That is amazing. Love Rat Fink stuff. Uh, I guess you have to be fairly old to like the rat fink because uh this is uh beautiful beautiful artwork that ed roth used to do okay and uh he used to do it on a lot of funny cars uh drag cars race cars and rat fink was kind of the the in thing back in the old days okay so um i'm sure a lot of you new collectors out there don't uh don't really know what rat fink is but don't let the tradition die, or the, the you guys should get into some of this rat fink stuff. I mean, it's it's just really cool. The artwork is really really cool. Now check out this trailer. I mean, this trailer is something else. Looks all rusted out. You got the artwork on the top. I mean, this is fantastic. Honestly, it's really really cool. Ed, Big Daddy, Roth on the back. Trailer does open. Auto World, of course. And I keep closing it. Hold on. There we go. Show you inside. And also, I believe this side door opens as well. Yeah, the side door also opens as well. So that's pretty cool. Now obviously the white walls on here are uh, not done very well. But being that it's going to sit in the scrapyard, we're going to have to dirty up those white walls anyways. But I mean that's a pretty cool looking trailer. That is pretty awesome looking. Honestly, pretty awesome looking. So there you have it, guys. 
that's my video for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that subscribe button. And please give me a thumbs up. And uh, let me know which is your favorite from this uh, episode. Uh, was it the the new additions? The new uh, castings from Auto World? Or uh, maybe the Johnny Lightning? Or maybe it was this Impala with this beautiful, beautiful black cherry pearl. Mm. Anyway, till next time, guys. Be safe. Be well. Happy hunting. Ciao.